Who's heard of a guy called T. Harvecker? Hands up nice and high. Okay, he wrote, he's written a lot of good books. I'm a big fan of T. Harvecker. And Forbes asked him, they said, T. T. Harvecker, out of all the principles for growing wealth, which is the most important in today's economy? This is his answer. He said, understanding your past attitudes towards money and changing them if need be. That's really where it all starts, okay? How did you grow up thinking about money? What were you taught about money? We're gonna examine that in just a moment, okay? This is everything. Financial thermostats, we all have one. Does everyone know what a thermostat is? Who knows, someone tell me, yes. Temperature control. Okay, so in this room right now, it's a certain temperature. If we open these back doors and we open the outside doors, all the hot air is gonna come in, the temperature will go up, okay? And the thermostat in this room will sense that and it will bring the temperature down by turning on the air conditioning or turning it up, okay? So that is a thermostat. Basically, it's, we have this range, okay, that we wanna be in. Now, if something is outside of the range, it's gonna pull it back down, always within that range. Now, we have this in all areas of our lives, in all areas of our lives. Uh, we have this in health, for example, okay, our weight. Have you ever noticed that your weight is fairly constant? Okay, who's noticed that? A few people say, no, it's not. <laughs> But uh, if you look at your weight, okay, if you look at it over a graph over a year, it's pretty constant, okay? Maybe it's going up slightly or going down slightly, but it trends, okay? There's trends. It's not bouncing up and down that much, okay? And the reason is we have our comfort zone of, of our comfort weight, okay? So for example, if you overindulge over the next five days, you're then going to fly home and that's gonna be in the back of your, of your mind. Jeez, I, 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 I ate a lot of food. I probably drank too much, I didn't exercise enough. So when you get home, now you're outside of that, that comfort zone, okay, where you like to be. So maybe you're going to work out harder, maybe you're going to watch what you eat a little bit more, and you will pull yourself back within that comfort zone of weight. Who agrees with that? You will, okay? If you overindulge for a few days, you will sense that. That will be in the back of your mind. On the other hand, let's say you commit to a weight loss program and you start working out every single day. You do that for five days, you eat healthy food, in the back of your mind you think, geez, I'm, I'm going really good. I, I deserve a treat. I deserve to give myself a reward and to eat that, uh, that chocolate, okay? And soon you're pulling yourself back into that comfort zone of weight. Now we do this in all areas of our lives and it's especially true with money, okay? Have you ever met someone, I mean, I know you have, someone who struggles with money and five years from now, guess what? They will probably be struggling with money, okay? Because unless they've learned what we're, what we're teaching you here, um, that is their natural comfort zone, okay? That is their natural financial thermostat, 